Welcome to Luke and Lewis. We're back on Zoom, but we're both in very different places, even more so. Yes, where was I last time? Who knows? Can't remember. Can't remember. Um, we, I am in Brisbane now, about to do my last show tonight. It's on the Sunday for recording this, and you you have moved to... I live in Hobart now. I'm a Tasmanian resident. I've I've uh, escaped Melbourne. I cracked it. I moved Keelan and the new hire Rosie with me, and yeah. and now we have a content house. I'm thinking of calling us Team Three. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what, very creatively titled. Yeah. Um, you didn't want to do the Spears House or that's better. I that's can't better. wait for all your breakup videos. Why I left Team Three on Keelan's feelings. That'd be good. <laughs> and there's just all yeah. the toxic shit you get up to. I already saw that mm. in uh he drinking Coke out of a wine glass. Yeah, Keelan. Yeah, okay, Lewis, make the video right now. Yeah. This is your response. Why you left Team Three? Because <laughs> all the diabetes that was happening in the upstairs. Man, living with Keelan is an experience. We've been here for uh, under a week and he's already placed three orders for like <laughs> 10 packs of Coke. I reckon oh he's gone. I think he's gone through like almost a dozen litres of Coke in the last couple of days. See, I'd like to say you're relapsing, but not, we said that two weeks ago. So what are you doing now? You just... No, so I was telling this to Lewis. I was it's on a, a real health kick. I was on a real health kick drinking nothing but water and working out and stuff. And then Lewis suggests the idea of moving to Tassie with me. And the, that day, three weeks ago, I just stopped drinking water and working out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's it. I'm not drinking water. Yeah. I don't know. And now that we're in two weeks, the water here is disgusting. I can't drink it. So I'm drinking cold. That instead. is true. Our water, our water is fucked. I think there's something wrong with the tap because we Googled it. Apparently Hobart water is really good, but not ours. So I'm, uh, Keelan has resorted to drinking Coke, but I'm just not drinking anything. So I think he's actually better off than I am. Cheers for that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, I uh, yeah. So you moved to Tassie now. Yep. Obviously, living with Keelan, can't imagine what that's like. Mm -hmm. Don't want it. to imagine. It's I, actually it's pretty easy to imagine if you just picture a toddler with their own <laughs> bank card. It's pretty much that. <laughs> What's this shit I've been seeing on your stories? Where every time Keelan orders Uber Eats. He offers them like challenges to do fair, an extra tip. One yeah. of them was writing, will you marry me on the uh, <laughs> order? And then yeah. my favorite has been if you, instead do, he says, do not knock instead for extra tip. <laughs> Literally like written like a child. Yo, yeah. bingo, bango, the coffee man is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that with everyone. <laughs> Because we can't even, we're in two weeks quarantine, so we can't even leave the house to exercise. So this is the only entertainment we have is when the Uber driver arrives, we all sit there, <laughs> me, Keelan and Rose, and we're like, oh, are they going to say it? So far, no one has said it. Two places have written, in, you know, credit to them, lovely will you marry me notices, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> which is beautiful. I don't know who would propose over an apple crumble, but, you know, <laughs> someone would. Oh, wait, no, this morning on Lewis's Uber Eats, it's set to default when the coffee yeah. man arrives. It says, yeah. I love it when the coffee's done for the Uber yeah. Eats driver to say, which so is a very I, niche joke. Yeah, so I have been doing this as well. I've been telling them to say, don't knock. Instead, say, I love it when the coffee's done. Uh, wow. And I did this once two days ago when we ordered coffee. And then I just, <laughs> I was the only one awake and I ordered coffee for myself again. And I didn't realize that if you write in instructions, it default adds that to all your future orders <laughs> because it's only really supposed to be, here's how you get into my building, not please say something stupid when you arrive. So this morning, I'm really tired and out of it. I'm the only one up. The Uber driver arrives with coffee for everyone and he's like real happy and I open the door and he gives it to me and he goes, I love it, I love it. And I, and I, I look at him, I'm like, what, do you, like, what are you doing? I look at him like he's the weirdest guy ever. And then he gets all weird and self-conscious. I take it in, I'm like, what a fucking weird Uber driver. And then I put it down and I look at my phone, I'm like, oh, that's what he told me to say. So. He, just, he must have been so confused and embarrassed. He goes, oh, that's what he asked me to do. What did I do wrong? Oh, fuck. You guys are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was uh, so confused, but he's going, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this guy on? How That's embarrassing. So funny. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I can't wait. Oh, dude, you need to record it. Like, yeah. so when every Uber driver is about to come, just record in yeah. case he says, bingo, I, bango. I I've been doing that. Oh, my God, because I need to hear it. <laughs> I'll be yeah. waiting. I'll, I'll, the driver will be up the street. I'll be waiting for five minutes at the door, just like patiently <laughs> waiting for the car to rock up. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous stuff. We're definitely making an impact on the neighbourhood. We're in the. We, we're obviously in like a very close knit community because when we moved in, a bunch of people started snooping, and we were. You know, we've got a really strict quarantine. We can't leave the house at all. The police text us, and we have to check in with them to make sure that we're at home. Like they're really serious about it, which is fair enough because there's no COVID here. Um, but we're moving in and uh, uh, this old woman comes up to me and Keelan and she goes, oh, you guys are new to the neighbourhood. And we're like, yeah. And she goes, where'd you, where'd you come from? We go, oh, we came from Melbourne. And she's like, why are you outside? She didn't realise that we were moving stuff in from the car. So she thought that we'd just been like first day out, like going to the supermarket, going to uh. the movies. She got terrified. And then we explain, oh, no, we're, we're moving. And she's like, right, didn't really believe us. Since that day five times now five days in a row we have seen her peer in our window to make sure we're still in the house what we the were, hell where we were recording spearhead sundays the other day and i'm just sitting watching lewis do it and she's st standing at the door just glaring in making sure we're there. <laughs> <laughs> trying to count us and rosie's out the back so she's like where's the girl oh my god yeah so for those who don't know lewis has uh hired someone new rosie yes mm-hmm and that's why she's yeah. now coming up in stories. Yes, Keelan's, yeah. Keelan's moving full-time to Luke and Lewis because the Patreon support has picked up here. So we need someone full-time to help us with that. And we want to do main channel videos as well. So over the next couple of months, Keelan will slowly be going hands off with my stuff and then doing a lot more stuff for Luke and Lewis. So if you want to support that, Patreon's the way to do it. Yes. Um, and I think it's going to be great. I've already done like three videos this week. It's all going great. It was such the right decision. What I, I, I remember I got here and we got all settled and then we did like one day of work. And then I read the news that like uh, Melbourne had, you know, almost 200 cases and got upgraded to a stage one, which means no one can leave. And mm. it made me so fucking happy. All my thoughts with Melbourne, and that's terrible, but it made me real happy. I'm like, fuck, I got out at the right time. Yeah, dude. Melbourne's going to fuck itself just like uh, New South Wales did. <laughs> um, what's up with you looking like an e-boy? Can you get mm. Keelan to do it? I don't even care at this point if it's a barber. Yeah. Fix it. Yeah, well, he here's the thing. Like, this this looks all right. Like in no, the no, no, no. Here's, no, here's the thing. No, you no, don't. I look like, no, I look like Logan Paul. Everyone's saying, oh, you look like Logan Paul. He's no. handsome. You look like... Bryce Hall if he was a bean pole. You know what I look like? I look like I'm I'm trying to hide that I'm going bald. That's what I that's because that's the Logan Paul look. Like he's got the receding hairline, so he puts yeah. all the back hair at the front, the Donald Trump. It looks he's like trying to hide doing. Greg's jeans, pretty much. But mate, if you don't like this, you know, this is the other option. So oh God. it's this is all you look I like have. little you are becoming dangerously close to a little dicky lookalike. A what? Without the, uh, you know, little Dicky, like yeah. the, the rapper. You <laughs> yeah. look like him. Yeah, so it's getting, getting really dire. But can't you just tuck it up under your hat? Like, so I don't get why do you pop it? It doesn't out? fit. I've got so much hair now; it doesn't fit. The worst, the worst mistake I ever made was I think it was a couple of days before Melbourne's most recent lockdown. I forgot my hair appointment and I didn't go. And I was like, oh, that's all right. I'll just book it in for tomorrow. Next day, lockdown, and really? and now it's just been this. So. I'm uh, looking forward to going to my first barber. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go crazy. I reckon I'm just going to go, hey, man, do what you want. I might come up with something completely different. Do what you want. Yep. I'm going to a good place. I found like a really good barber and I'm going to go, hey, man, what do you do? Whatever you think. Dude, I hope he loves mohawks. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if he loved mullets? Well, that's, that's the thing. It is Hobart, right? I mean, you know I am in say. Tasmania. You should say, I mean, dude, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You're going to do all your shows and all your videos with a shit haircut. Oh, big deal. I think, well, I've already been doing that. Yeah, I think yeah, it can't get worse. I think you should go in and say, do your favourite hairstyle. Regardless of my face, Shaq. And regardless of his taste. Like, he could have yeah. terrible taste as well. You don't, don't even ask him what he's into. You know what? Sound off in the comments below. What, what am I getting? What haircut? I want something mm. new. Yeah. I'm just waiting. 
for I'm just giving people time to talk. Oh, we're not actually live. No, but uh, in hindsight, like, you know, I know oh, like, yeah, people course. are going to be typing away. Yeah. You know what, guys? Pause it. We don't have time. Yeah. Um, 